Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to take you to the journey for my artwork to the graphic design uh, print shop. So this is the graphic that I'm going to print on some of the t-shirt. So I'm going to go talk with them, see if they have uh, any special right now. And as you can see, I convert that to my uh, graphic uh, paper so I'm going to talk to them more about the design on this uh, hat probably want to put like a leopard print instead of just a blank or maybe like a scale look And then here's my other uh, logo with the McDaddy print, McDaddy uh, pimping right here. And I'm gonna choose uh, like a different uh, font. So yeah, hopefully uh, this merch is gonna get some hits. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, head up to the sh their uh, shop, print shop. Okay. Well, guys, so I'm here. So unfortunately, they are closed. I'm not sure it's a lunch break or whatever. So I'll be back. I'll contact them when I come back. Then. So I finally uh, come to this uh, store. It's called the Eternal uh, Graphic. And then I uh, get them the design. They took. They told me it was gonna be ready on uh, the following day. So some of uh, the following day turned into. Uh, couple weeks and I constantly had to ask them is my graphic uh, finished or not and unfortunately they told me that uh, I put on the graphic paper and it's uh, harder for them to work with so I had to wait so I kind of give up and then uh, this is uh, what I did uh, try to do everything myself cannot depend on people or stores can't believe how they're gonna make money so this is a guilt and a heavy plan 100% uh, cotton t-shirt so I use a number two pencil with my stencil and then I trace it with the, my uh, M uh, logo. So I trace it all around and then after that I use this uh, puffy uh, paint. So it's puffy paint, uh, there's a like a tip on the top. So it's, you kind of squeeze it and like uh, use your hand to draw it which I use it on my socks a uh, long, long time ago, and it is uh, it stays on fabric uh, pretty well. So this is what I what it look like after I remove it. I know this is my first uh, experience on this uh, project, so just uh, bear bear with me. So so then I'm gonna show you guys what I did on the back. On the back, I was trying to de determine to put a big. Um, logo that I drew or the graphic and at first I put it on and it looks kind of small and tiny so I use my uh, scanner to scan it to my uh, notebook and then uh, after I scan it to the notebook uh, I enlarge it a little bit so it has it looks uh, kind of just right for this uh, t-shirt so this is what it looks like. I had to cut it. Uh, this is made of uh, two of the eight by 11 uh, piece of paper. On the bottom, as you can see, it is uh, cut out. So I glued it with the ammo glue and then I put it together. So right here, I'm trying to show you guys uh, I haven't finished uh, drawing the detail yet. So after I finish uh, drawing the detail, I'm going to use this uh, puppy paint again. Uh, go around the outline and where all the pencil markings at so I can finish uh, this up and show you guys the final uh, products so let's show you guys on the next video to show you guys the final product after, after what I did and hopefully you guys uh, like it So right here, I used to show you guys uh, what I did. Uh, I had to use a paper clip to clip it, up so it'd be smooth to draw on and not wrinkle wrinkle up. So uh, this is uh, what it looked like. Uh, 
I know this is the first uh, sample that I did, and after I finish, you, you, I'm glad it didn't take that long. Just the drawing out the, on the fabric it take a little bit while. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop me in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. See you guys. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace. Oh yeah, stay tuned for the unbody fit.